Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rabbit Pineapple here, and I am back with Dark Souls 3, my second journey. And where we left off is we just defeated that little whatever creature it was, and now we're about to take on that uh, crocodile thing that kind of chased us down the bridge that I think is above us. Should I try to take him on, or should I just try to run for the next bonfire? I may try to just run. I'm so close to the bonfire, too. Yep. Well, sc screw me. Well, then. That didn't really work out. <laughs> We're only like a minute and a half into the video and already freaking died. Alright. So I guess I need to try to get my souls back. Because that's like probably halfway to leveling up. Alright. Uh, a little over half. Because I had about 60,000, right? Alright. Excuse me. Pardon me. Don't be hitting me. Scratching me. Doing what you do. this other guy at? Ah. I can hear him. Alright, so is that creature just like waiting for me now? No? Okay. <sighs> I at least need to make it back to my souls. Come on. Come on. He can't come in here. Awesome. How much damage? Oh, wow. What a pansy. Alright. So, I lit that bonfire, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I lit it. I'm gonna go ahead and rest at it, I guess. Oh no, I didn't even light it. Hmm, I think I have all my Estus Flasks, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just continue on. So I wonder if like escaping him like means that he's not gonna come back again. Alright, there we go. There's those people done for. 
Got some dung pies. I'm set for life. Alrighty. I think we got some more dung pies over here. Heck yeah. Oh, hello friend. Almost forgot about you. Excrement covered ashes, wow. Okay, didn't really have to come over here to her though. Time for tears. Yeah, um, I believe most people should know by now that, uh, if you send out Guy Rod or whatever into, like, this city or whatever to pillage stuff, he can either come back from it or not, and that's where he dies and that's where he drops something. Friend ahead, therefore let there be soup. I don't see a friend. Yeah, cause like I think that uh, what's his face? Uh, the onion dude. He he's supposed to be here. But. I don't know, I haven't really figured out his storyline, or story arc, how to keep him. I don't know if, like, I missed something somewhere. I don't know. Be wary of right. There's nothing to the right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was going through the wrong door in my mind. Okay. Okay. So these nights are apparently hard. I never really had a problem with them. Especially this one that's just like chilling here looking at this painting of a lady. There we go, there's that. And boom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those uh, arrows that he's shooting just kind of stick in you and you never forget them. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Alright, I think all three chests are good chests. Yep. It's really weird having like three chests in a row that are all good and they're not like trying to eat you or anything. Dang. He's got those rapid fire arrows going sometimes.
well, frickety frack did not mean to die there. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Sometimes this game is a pain in the butt. Oh, gosh. Erythil of the Boreal Valley. So I just gotta head back to where my souls are. I'm pretty sure I was close to level leveling up. Excuse me. Keep hiccuping. Is there Estus soup every time that I... I don't understand the Estus soup, actually. Is it literally just like the Estus that I carry around with me? Oh. These guys are permanently dead. That's nice. I didn't remember that. Okay, so... Frost damage is the worst. No, no, not frost damage. Curse. Curse damage or whatever is the worst. Because once that bar is full, you are dead. Dead. Is it stuck in my arm? Just taking him out all nonchalantly. gonna come after me if let's see aha get some So definitely being in this area, there's a lot more souls being got. So it should be a lot easier to be leveling up now, which is amazing. Even though like some of the enemies don't seem all that hard, they're doing a lot of damage still. Okay, good thing I'm not like embered up or anything. Because otherwise I would have like this uh, dark shadow or whatever that's invading me. That's what you get. Stupid dag. Wait, is that dog stuck? Dogs. 
suffering, Steven. Like, literally, the dogs are the worst. It's like they don't do much damage. Like, with one bite or whatever. But it's just that they're, like, they're so, like, agile. So they're always, like, maneuvering and not getting hit by your swings that you're swinging at them. It's so freaking stupid. Okay. But hopefully I can get back to where I was. And then we can get on to the bonfire. Or at least I think it, I unlock a shortcut back to the, the bonfire that's like in that church. Okay, okay, don't die now. Don't die now. Okay. Alright, just because I don't want to use an Estus Flask. Pretty sure that's what that does. It's literally just an Estus Flask in soup form. Alright, so I basically just have to get past, like, those dogs and those, like, mages or whatever. Yeah, so let's try rolling, but, like, they're full of frost damage. So you're gonna end up killing yourself. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Bring it, bring it. Bring it, mutt. Gotta at least get up to my souls. And lead the dogs back. Oh, friggity frag. Don't talk back. There we go. Pretty sure there's more dogs to come. But Whew, okay. Yeah, there's a dog right here. Come on. Go, 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 go. Let's get out of here. I don't know if they walked by or not. Okay, okay. There we go. So we're literally halfway to uh, the next boss fight or whatever. So I can level up right now. So let's go back to Firelink, level up, and we'll end off this episode. Gosh darn. Some parts of this game just, they kind of get on my nerves, but it's more likely like just some of the enemies get on my nerves because they're so annoying and like you die from the most retarded crap ever. Welcome home, speak thine. Farewell. Let, let me do something real quick, see if I can actually level up twice, which is how long has it been since I've like used all my souls. So I don't think I'm actually going to be using them for anything. Da -da. Ooh, 400 from those. <laughs> All 
right. Ooh, 10,000 from that one. And we got 5,000 from that one. Oh, wrong one. Oh, wrong. Okay. <laughs> Keep in the wrong buttons. Ooh, 22,500. I think I'm going to be able to level up twice after using all these. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to level up twice. I think that was all, though. Alright. And yeah, get to level up twice Welcome now. Home. Speak very well. well, I should be able to. Then touch the darkness within me. If I can't level up twice, that's ridiculous. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Yeah, okay. Okay, sweet. Uh, what do, what do I actually want to do? Huh. Do you think I need more health? Um. I think my health is good, actually. Maybe. Vitality. That still gives me better armor, but I don't know if there's really any better armor than what I'm wearing. Let's go with... Let's go with Dexterity. Because it doesn't seem like Strength is doing crap for... Uh, for my damage anymore. But I guess my uh sword it kind of goes off of dexterity. Cuz like a, I'll, I'll show you. Uh this sword has to have a dexterity of 18 and a strength of 14. So the dexterity's higher. I don't know. I guess that's the reason why it's kind of doing more. Ooh. I definitely wouldn't be able to, like, wield that. But if I, like, maxed it out and stuff, I'm sure it'd end up being way better than my greatsword. I don't know. That may be a possibility. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and all. Dang, I didn't realize that I went three minutes past my normal time just by leveling up but guys yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and all leave a like if you did subscribe all that stuff and yeah i will catch you guys in the next video so catch you guys later